Evening all, Marcus here, back again with another video, back again, obviously, with another Oculus Go video. And in this one, I've been playing around with ALVR and seeing if Beat Saber works. If you didn't know, ALVR enables you to connect to Steam VR on your PC and play full games that they have on there. Out of the box, it's still limited to three degrees of freedom, so just moving your head and moving your control around but you can play it. So some games are more playable than others. So some work where you're kind of looking around and just pointing sort of thing. Obviously, if you're gonna to need to move around, you're gonna struggle there. There are ways around that, but kind of, I wanted to kind of see what works with just the controller and just your headset and just your PC. No extra peripherals, no extra add-ons. Let's see what works. And first off, I wanted to try Beat Saber. We all know Beat Saber is the rhythm game that's uh, good fun where you usually got a red and a blue lightsaber going at the same time, but how would Beat Saber work with just one controller and the Oculus Go? Well, we're gonna take a look. Before we do that though, I want a quick shout out to Dasbo for uh, chucking me a couple of quid for a couple of points. Thank you, mate, I appreciate that. There's no uh, obligation to do any donations, people, but if you wanna chuck me a couple of quid for something, you know, by all means, link is in the description below. But if you don't wanna do that and you just wanna support my channel, to make sure you do hit that like button and subscribe. All right, let's jump into it. All right, so here we are in Beat Saber, totally wireless connected to my PC. So as you can see, I've got the lightsaber in my hand, or the light pointer at the moment, and I've got the full sort of Beat Saber graphical experience, and it looks pretty good. I can't really complain. The graphics are really good. The quality of the stream seems really good. And from what I've played previously, uh, it's pre been pretty stable, so I've quite enjoyed it. So let's see what works. So if we click on Solo, obviously we've only got one controller, so we've only got really got one saber. So you can play standard modes, but what I think you need to do, and you have to do, is turn on no fail. So that way, you don't fail. So you can miss stuff if you've not got the right saber. Um, so you can miss stuff if you don't have the left saber, which obviously we don't. Uh, and you can just kind of play through. So if we choose the first one, $100 bills, and I would probably suggest putting it on expert, because you're only using one controller, you can miss it all, it doesn't really matter. So it says, do you want to do that? Yes, we do, we, we, we want to do it. So here we go, full game. Let's miss, let's miss, that, miss that one. And da, 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 da. Oh, I'm missing them ones already. I mean, I will uh, admit, I'm the, not the best Beat Saber player. Oh, I go quiet. Oh, I'm terrible. Also missing a lot because it's missing all the red ones. But it is hitting the blue ones and it hits them really well. Bow, 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 bow down. Although I'm just terrible. You can tilt your head to kind of dodge some of these. But you can't duck them. So if you get to a ducking one, you are stuck. Oh! Well the game, the VR game struggled then. It actually almost went back to the Steam dashboard. I went straight back in again, that's good. And I kind of feel like I've got full movement, but I don't. Like, I don't think I ever struggled to actually hit any. So these ones I can move my head. Like that. Dun, dun. Pick it up. Bow, bow, bow. Oh. Struggling again. And that's Steam VR, so maybe it's my PC struggling there doing both things. I've not had that before, but we'll see how that goes. I mean, it looks better than probably on my Oculus Rift graphic wise sort of thing, I mean I'm getting an even better resolution, so I mean that's brilliant. If anything, avoiding the red ones becomes a little bit of a challenge on its own. I guess there might, there might be a mod that allows you to just kind of avoid the red ones maybe, as a part of a part of a game sort of thing. But there we go, that worked quite well, and that's kind of just standard mode, so you can do all of these tracks like that. One-handed mode, turn the uh, turn the failing off, 
No arrows works exactly the same. So you can just hit it whichever way so you find it easier. But one saber, I think, is the perfect Oculus Go mode. But this game, oh, has to be played on expert. And oh my god, is this hard? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. And I'm, as I say, I'm not the best uh, BC player. Does make me want to dance around with it. Oh, should I miss that one? I think the misses are me genuinely making a mistake. But the tracking's really good. I mean, it seems to. Proper. Oh! And I'm just whacking away at these ones. And it's fortunately, when you get the, the ones you need to duck, you can't duck them. Uh, and you can't really see what's coming because you can't duck them. See, I'm terrible. If I didn't have uh, no fail on, I'd be out by now. I don't, I don't uh, pretend to be an expert, but it is a fun game. It's not as knackering as the uh, Oculus Rift version. I played that and uh, oh, I'm knackered at the end of that. You do kind of miss a few of the beats, I guess, because you don't get to hit the up, all the colours and all the blocks and all that sort of stuff. But this works. And this is like without any sort of six degrees of movement or freedom. Um, and about as you can, yeah, you know, for kind of a, a free experience almost. It's almost making me think, what have I got my wrist for, you know? If I can play these games. Now, granted, not all games I don't think will work, or this is just waving around one hand. God, I'm terrible. Miss, 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 miss. I can't see. We've been pretty stable since that couple of uh, weird sort of Steam VR glitches at the start. And the graphics themselves, like the quality, is really good. Like, it's, it's streaming to my headset over my Wi Fi. And works pretty well. Beat Saber on the Oculus Go, it works, and it works really well. I mean, you don't get the two controllers, you don't get the uh, proper movement to be able to dodge stuff, but if you kind of turn on no fail, it actually becomes quite a playable game, especially in the sort of one Saber mode where it's almost perfect for this. I don't think there's anything I kind of feel like I miss. Uh, you can sort of tilt your head to kind of dodge the, the vertical ones, um, but you can't duck, so that's a shame. And that causes an issue where you can't then see what's coming. But overall, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you can play Beat Saber and it works. You don't need any extra add-ons or anything like that. So there you go. If you want to know how ALVR works, I will be putting together a little video on that soon. Let me know in the description down below if you're interested in that and also what games you want me to see me play and see if they do work in ALVR. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, but do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like the video. Make sure you subscribe for more Oculus Go content. Hit that notification button so you know when I next upload a video. And that's me done. I'm out. A virtual high five.